Joe's publicist CEO Maurice Levy and Omnicom CEO John Wren join us live. Great to see you both and congratulations on this huge announcement. Mr. Wren, I'll start with you because our first question really has to deal with the conflict of interest. You have Coke and you have Pepsi under one roof. How do you manage that sort of conflict of interest? Well, first of all, we haven't even, we're months and months away from having finished the transaction because of all the regulatory approvals we have to get. And our plan, each of us separately, uh, are going to sit down with our major clients and discuss their needs, our needs, and whether we can develop a meaningful solution to any issues that they have. Um, we have plenty of time to do that, and we, and we will do that. Uh, Mr. Levy, good morning and congratulations on this transaction. Pulisis has a special place in the French mind. Have you spoken to President Hollande about the protection, almost the cultural protection of the French interest? Omnicom is larger, Pulisis is smaller. How are you going to protect that uniquely French feel of Pulisis? Uh, we, we have spoken, and I have personally spoken to a lot of officials in France, and for the time being, what I can tell you is that the reception has been overwhelmingly positive. Uh, they see this as a great transaction, which will uh, create a world champion, and they love the idea that we are part of it. So I don't uh, anticipate any major difficulty. I'm curious about the cost cutting. Mr. Wren, how can you achieve $500 million in synergies without announcing any layoffs? Um, it's, uh, it's quite possible. The, it's just pure strength and the complementary nature of both organizations will generate efficiencies um, that should be very reasonable in achieving, given the size of the company and the amount of money the company spends. Right. Um, it's not it's not that big a number. John, with your uh, uh, track record with Needham and building up Omnicom, you've been very big on training with your Omnicom University. I would assume out of 130,000 employees, you've got five or 6,000 people today dusting off their resumes. How are you going to keep your best talent during this X number of months of synergy? How do you keep the good people? Well. I don't know there are five or six thousand of anything, but, th but thanks, Tom. Um, our people, my people, I believe Maurice's people, trust us. Uh, we're doing this to create a new paradigm within our industry, to create new opportunities, not to cut them back or to limit people's careers, but to create career paths that weren't even there before. And I would like to uh, yes. just add one word on that, Please. because uh, the reaction that we have had on both sides right, exactly. has been overwhelmingly positive uh, from our people, okay. and they see a lot of possibility and cross opportunities with our two companies. Exactly. Um, when you look at the real portfolios of each, the opportunity to come up with better right. solutions for clients, make them happier. It enhances, at the end of the day, all of their careers. And, and, and one other word, Tom. Well, we know, we're in the people business. Maurice is a veteran of the people business. I'm a veteran of the people business. We, we know um, how important that is to each of our organizations. We spoke to Sir Martin Sorrell earlier this yeah. morning. Uh, on Bloomberg Television. He was very complimentary of both of your management expertises, but at the same time, he said this is a large, large transaction with this dreaded word synergy and all this. Have you guys decided where the CFO is going to sit? Are they, is the CFO going to sit in New York or Paris or in the Netherlands out of the way? I must say that he has applied for being the CFO of the operation. In an email that he sent to me, he did say what he did. And by the way, I would have been surprised and I would have been worried if Sir Martin had nothing bad to say, because in that case, I would stop thinking what's wrong with our operation. So I'm extremely pleased that he has found some few criticisms right. to make.
regarding this operation. Well, Sarah, jump in here. I thought Martin Sorrell was going to send him a fruit basket myself. Well, actually, to his uh, yeah. point, and we've heard this from a number of people, that this is not exactly a merger of equals. It's a merger of unequals, and that is because Publicis represents 37% of the combined revenue, yet it has 50% of the value of the combined company. How do you respond to that, Maurice? Well, when you look at the net income levels of each and you look at the equity values of each, they are 50-50. And um, we approached this from the very start as it had to be a merger of equals in order to accomplish the, ob the objectives we wanted to, to, to accomplish. And we were able to do that. And all valuation metrics done by investment bankers and everyone else took right. into consideration how much money the shareholders were entitled to, and it turns out the stars were perfectly aligned, and it does come out to 50 Right, John, let me give you the last word here. This is critical, John, this is critically important. This idea of Google, 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 the New York Times featured this in their article this morning. Are you guys going to become digital companies, or is there always going to be a place for the creative mind like a Don Draper type? I mean, I don't want that romance to go away here. Did you do this deal because of Google and big data and all that? Uh, no, the, the, the Don Draper creative guys are not going away. They're an important part of the portfolio of companies that we have. The big data is also quite important, and um, Google sometimes is competitive with us, sometimes not competitive with us. Most times it co collaborates with us. But we want to make certain that we can give our people the tools so the Don Draper of the future knows who to write a spot for. All right, and we are in a whole new world where yeah. everything has to be uh, uh, combined. So we will uh, have more science, we will have more technology, uh -huh. and even more and more and more emotional creative work. Maurice, on that idea of combination, what is your outlook for more consolidation in the advertising industry? And would this combined company look to do more deals? Uh, when you look at uh, the reaction of the stock market this morning, uh, they think that uh, uh, Michael Rose and uh, all the likes to should send us some basket of fruits <laughs> because uh, uh, this is showing clearly that uh, the market is believing in a further consolidation. And I believe that this is something right. which is going to happen.